Life insurance is one of the most important components of any individual's financial plan. However, there is a lot of misunderstanding about life insurance, mainly due to the way life insurance products have been sold over the years. In this video, we will review some common mistakes insurance buyers should avoid when purchasing life insurance policies. The first mistake is very simple, not having life insurance. Did you know that more than 40% of Americans have no life insurance? This is a huge mistake. As you know, there is a 100% chance that you are going to die. And that means there is a 100% chance that your family is going to be left with the expenses associated with your burial. That's why it's wise to buy life insurance for you and your loved ones before you need it. The second mistake is only having an accidental death policy. Unfortunately, many consumers were sold an accidental death policy and led to believe that it was true life insurance. But this is not the case. An accidental death policy only pays benefits if you die in an accident. If you die of natural causes such as cancer, heart attack, stroke, an accidental death policy does not pay. Accidental death policies are largely a waste of money unless it is tied to a true life insurance policy. This leads us to the third common mistake, which is not having enough true life insurance. Too many people buy the least amount of life insurance possible. They think that a five or $10,000 policy will be more than enough for their family. However, like most things, burial costs associated with your death are on the rise. On top of that, when you die, your family no longer has the income that you once earned. So they have less money coming in and more expenses going out. That's why it's important that you buy at least 10 times your annual income in life insurance. Mistake number four is only having a life insurance policy that's provided from your employer. It's great that your employer provides life insurance for you. However, what happens to that insurance when you leave your job? That's right, you lose your life insurance. And depending on how long you've worked at that job, you may be much older and you could be in poorer health as compared when you started the job. That's why it's important to have your own life insurance policy, even if you keep the one from work. That way, when you quit or retire, your family and home will be safe because you're still insured. And finally, the last mistake is this, not using life insurance when you're planning for your retirement. Think of it this way, owning a life insurance policy is like having a bucket of money at your disposal. And if you're smart and have living benefits included with your policy, you can get access to that money before you die. That's why it's wise to include your life insurance needs when planning for your retirement. There are many life insurance plans that offer tax-free and or tax-deferred components, including the potential for income growth. For more information on how to avoid these and other pitfalls, contact us at mylivingbenefits.org or 866-277-3900.